For the sixth year, the Department of Agriculture held its May Harvest Festival, and according to Acting Director John Borja, the only difference this year is increased interest in different farming practices throughout the community. So we got students, we got uh, housewives, we got other farmers coming in. We also have businesses coming in, as well as other government agencies, officials coming in, so they can see what we have for organic farming. Borja says production of vegetables and fruits in Guam reaches its peak in May before rainy season begins. He hopes the festival encourages farmers to adapt to organic farming practices such as using soil fertility over synthetic and chemical fertilizers along with using mulch and recycled containers for recycling. It's pretty uh, interesting as you get along you have a feel for it and the only thing is that it's a lengthy process but once you condition the soil it brings back long-term benefits. Several government agencies, along with the Farmers Co-op and the Guam Visitors Bureau, were on hand to offer informative displays, showcase different produce, and offer advice on how to start your own small garden in your backyard by using recycled materials. So you can recycle your water bottles and also plant in small containers. And it also brings a supplemental nourishment and, and nutritionally healthy without all the uh, artificial preservatives in terms of uh, fresh is best and not having to use pesticides that are actually harmful for the environment and to your, your uh, individual self. Ultimately, Borja hopes the festival will help educate the community on how to think green. Go green warm and uh, make sure that you recycle and don't put too much of your other uh, synthetic waste into the landfill and also try to, to uh, eat healthy foods and start your own garden. For this week's Think Green, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Think Green is presented by...